joining us for all the drama and the controversy uh, at the awards. Showbiz journalist Ellie Phillips for this. And Ellie, you are a big Will Smith fan. Huge. But massive fan. Absolutely what do you think of this? I am really shocked. Genuinely, it was only a couple of hours that this happened. My jaw was on the floor because Will Smith's always portrayed himself to be, you know, a family man, someone who's kind of, you know, a pillar of society, if you will, and someone you could really look up to. And I've been saying for months I wanted him to win this award because he is an incredible actor. And, you know, that that doesn't detract from what happened last night doesn't detract from that but it has ruined the biggest night mm. of his career you see the fact he is an incredible actor i honestly thought i was looking at something being acted i yeah. thought okay. i was watching a setup until i heard all the Language. soundtrack to it so basically the punch looks a little bit set up because quite frankly chris rock doesn't really retaliate or respond he just takes it yeah. but what we didn't show you there because of the expletives is then will smith took back to his seat and then was effing and blinding up to um, yeah. to Chris Rock on stage. Now, he then went on to win the award moments later. Biggest moment yeah. of his career. But his speech was completely bonkers, rambling. You know, the interesting thing with Will Smith is that he is um, a great orator. So he got up and we were expecting this fluid speech that, let's be honest, he would have rehearsed for months mm. and months. However, that incident changed everything. He was pulled aside, like you said earlier, by Denzel Washington, who gave him some you know, advice. His people went into panic mode backstage, were saying, will he even let him go on stage to accept this? And he was in floods of tears. You know, you can tell he knew that he had done the worst mm. thing mm. and that it had ruined the night for him and, you know, really questioned people's mm. kind of opinion of him. So, except yeah. Except the provocation was that um, his, his wife, the joke from Chris Rock that she was going to take part in G.I. Joe, G.I. Jane uh, 2, but we believe she suffers from alopecia. Yeah, so this needs to be put in context. So the, in 2018, uh, J.D. Pinkett Smith was diagnosed with alopecia, so she has this shaved head look, which she looks incredible She's with. So she beautiful. looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know... Or fair props to her with that one. Um, and so the reference to G.I. Jane 2, some people said, oh, is that making fun of how she looks? Mm -hmm. However, if you hear a little bit before the clip that you played out then, he actually makes a point of saying, oh, OK, Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz, who are husband and wife, they're yes. both up for best actor and best actress. And then he goes to Will Smith and says, oh, and you're, you're up for best actor. Oh, Jada, you know, uh, G.I. Jane 2, mm -hmm. I can't wait for that one to come out. So I kind of think people thought, oh, was it a thing just saying that she's not as successful as, as him in terms of the films that she's yeah. put out. She certainly was not happy. I don't know if we've got yeah. um, the, the clip yes. showing well, actually, her Before we play action. it, just watch this, because the absolute key to this little clip that hopefully we can rerun, because we played it a moment ago, um, is that Will Smith laughed yeah. at the joke. Yeah. And it, Jada didn't laugh. But the, uh, Twitter, I mean, just completely went into meltdown. And mel Twitter was suggesting that he responded extra over the top because he was angry with himself for laughing at the joke. Have we got the clip? Are we able to play that again? Let's just have a look. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the out of me. Whatever way you dress this up, that is unacceptable behaviour. Well, that's battery under yeah. American yeah. law, technically. And it, if it was anybody else, yeah. if a member of the audience had walked up and hit Will Smith in the face, they'd be arrested on the spot. Absolutely. It is assault. And I think a lot of people, the reaction immediately has been, they need to strip him of this award. How can you, you know, have someone win Best Actor, commit violence on stage and just mm -hmm. let that stand? Like, we're not OK with that. And for me, one of the things that he said in his acceptance speech, he said, oh, love makes you do crazy things. I think for someone to put love and violence in the same sentence just doesn't work for yeah. me in any capacity. Mm. So I don't think you can justify an action like that, saying, oh, I did it because I love that person. There are other ways to handle it, you know yes. what I mean? He could have gone up to him and made a joke on stage and gave him one back in that way, but oh. to actually use physical mm. violence. Well, this is the centre, the kingdom of wokedom. It'll be interesting to see how they handle uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, let's go. We've got Kinsey Schofield, who's actually there uh, at the event. What's the fallout, Kinsey? We're, we're all quite shocked by what we've seen. 
Right. And the LAPD were immediately made aware of the situation. They got in touch with Chris Rock and he refused to give a statement and he obviously doesn't want to press charges. But, you know, they the police department are taking the, the assault seriously here in Los Angeles. Actors um, are frustrated that, you know, some of the people that were sitting there uh, feel like Will Smith ruined the entire event for everybody, including himself. This is a man that has worked his entire life for this award, and no one is going to be talking about it anymore. What they're going to be talking about is the fact that he assaulted Chris Rock. Um, and, you know, this is really, I think, negatively affects his legacy. But we think, we're, we're just talking amongst ourselves, I don't think Chris Rock will press charges. Um, no, what do you I think? I don't think he will. No. I think yeah. he's always been someone who said, you know, I should be able to say jokes and do what I want to do. And then with that comes backlash. I don't mm. think it should be violent backlash, but mm. he is someone who's very much like, mm. don't shut down people being able to say things. Yeah. So I don't think he'll want it to go. But, I mean, Kinsey, we, we go back a couple of years and you think of um, Ricky Gervais hosting the Oscars, where it was insult after insult, British humour at its absolute best. But now you make a joke and you get punched in the face live on TV and no one does anything about it. Right. And you know who made that exact point that you just made was Judd Apatow, who is a, you know, a huge writer and director over here in the state. Some of the funniest and biggest box office hits. Judd Apatow is going after Will Smith aggressively on Twitter, saying this is completely unacceptable. You think you're going to control comedians in this day and age and it's not going to happen. So the, I mean, Hollywood has your back in that sense. They they you think that you should be able to take a joke. And that was an innocent joke. Remember, Rebel Wilson went out after Will Smith and Jada at the BAFTAs recently. And I think it was less than 24 hours later, Will was kind of defending himself with Gail King on CBS's morning show. So obviously this is a couple that is very sensitive to criticism right now. OK, well, we need to ask you, Kinsey, about some of the actual events of the night because it has completely <laughs> overshadowed everything else. We know he won Best Actor, but quickly just run us through some of the other big names to win. Oh, I thought Jessica Chastain was, I was so grateful for her win. I thought she was so great in the eyes of Tammy Faye. And um, she did get a little uh, wokey at the end of her speech, but I, her heart was in the right place. So I forgave her. You know, she talked about how we have been so uh, alone thanks to the pandemic and how it's affected people and suicides here in the States that have, those numbers are insane. So I appreciated that she went there. Um, I thought Amy Schumer was a super silly and fun host. Host. I thought she looked absolutely great. Wanda Sykes and Regina Hall, although some have criticized them for being a little too woke in certain instances. What they did do, like Ricky Gervais, was poke fun at some of those celebrities um, that were sitting right in front of them. So that was fun to see. Uh, Belfast got their win. We at least had we at least had a little Belfast celebration for you, Eamon. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, a lot of really great, great moments completely overshadowed by the loss of control of one of the greatest actors in the world.